So what do we have here? This is a Showbud pedal steel guitar. I mean, it's a cross between a two-neck guitar and a piano. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's almost that bad. I came to the pawn shop today to try to sell my Showbud pedal steel guitar. I'd love to get $3,000. I don't play it, and I don't see myself learning to play it, so time to move it on. Where in the world did you get this? Well, my late husband acquired it in, uh, from a music store in downtown Phoenix, and when he cleaned it up, he got pretty wood inlays and stuff. I do know that Showbud is one of the main makers of these guitars. The pedal steel is one of the hardest instruments in the world to play. I've always liked country music. You'll see a pedal steel or a lap steel on the stage with them at all times. Why do only old guys play it? Because it's almost a lost art core. And a lot of the music today is stupid, so they don't use them. Nowadays, these damn kids press a few buttons on a computer and think they're making music. This is a real instrument. It takes an actual musician to play it. These are actually duplicate fretboards. Somebody had tried to clean the old ones and some sort of solvent took the paint with it. OK. I love when people do that. My big concern is that these are not exactly popular instruments, so we might be sitting on it for a long time. But if this is the Gibson or Fender of pedal steels, it might have a historical value that makes it worth a lot of cash. What do you want to do with it? Well, I'm hoping to sell it. OK. Any idea on what you want to get out of it? Well, the gentleman that my late husband spoke to indicated it might be worth three or 4000 You know, I just I don't know anything about them. I got a buddy who owns a guitar shop here in town. He's really good at this stuff. Do you mind if I bring him down here? Well, I'd really love to get someone's opinion. If this thing checks out, I'll definitely make an offer on it. You just don't see these that often. I mean, there's got to be some country musicians out there that are just dying to have it. Hey, Jeff. Hey, how you doing? Uh, guys usually call me down anytime they get anything that they're not too sure about guitar-wise. Looks like a nice old showbud. Showbud was the first company to really make a professional pedal steel guitar. Pedal steels are kind of a different animal altogether than a normal guitar. It's played with a tone bar, just basically like a slide. You would run the slide down, and then you could use, you know, the pedals and the knee lever on it. And you can set them to a set note, so you can bend the string to that note. Any old country ballad you hear, mm -hmm. that really weeping guitar sound in the background, that's this. The showbud and the pedal steel kind of all evolved from lap steels, which were used in Hawaiian music. Country guys started picking it up because of the nice sound that it makes. Jesse, can you play these things? Absolutely do not know how to play the pedal steel. <laughs> but I mean, we can check it and make sure everything works on it. We'll give it a shot, man. <laughs> yeah, it's all in working order. Uh... You're not a clap steel guitarist. <laughs> <laughs> not in the least. So let's get down to basics, Jesse. What's it worth? I would say in this one's condition, probably between twenty-five to thirty-three hundred bucks. Well, my man, I appreciate it. No problem, man. If the guys get this show, bud, it's not a super quick sell, but you'll sell it. A real professional is going to want a show, bud. So, what's your bottom dollar? Well, could you do twenty-five hundred? No, I don't have people knocking down the door to buy these things. What do you think, Corey? I'd give you like 1200 bucks for it. Would you come up a little bit? Hit me with a number. How about 1800 How about 1500 1500 and you got a deal. That's the best I'm going to go. I think I'd like to see if I can find somebody that would be willing to pay a little bit more for it. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Let me help you carry this to your car. OK. I think it will be worth it in the long run to try to get a little bit more money. I think it'll be worth worth the time to do that.